Hello, Easter greetings. My name is Jenny Anderson and I'm really looking forward to joining you, the clergy of Northern Indiana in a few weeks for your clergy retreat. And thank you so much to Bishop Sparks for the invitation. A little bit about myself. I'm one of the bishops in the Diocese of Toronto. It's the largest diocese in Canada. And I have the privilege of overseeing uh, 53 congregations in an incredibly uh, diverse part, uh, both linguistically and ethnically, of the city of Toronto. I was a very happy parish priest for 20 years, and I served in congregations both here in Toronto, in London, England, as well as in Japan. I also served as the officer of mission for this diocese, the Diocese of Toronto, and I'm passionate about finding ways that the church can follow uh, the God of mission in some new and creative ministries, particularly the ministry of church planting. I'm married to Tim and we are kept very busy with our three teenage daughters. Uh, the other day as I wiped the Cheerios off the breakfast table, I sternly reminded our daughters that they were privileged uh, to have an education and that they better get good grades this term. Uh, later on that day, I deleted the cheerful email from my gym, uh, reminding me with only, that with only two months left till bathing suit season, I should get back to the gym. I hit uh, delete. And I don't think any of us are immune to this desire to excel uh, in our parishes, in our family lives, um, to develop ourselves. But guilt and anxiety are not going to get us there. Guilt from our mothers or guilt from the gym. So what will? Uh, during our time together on retreat, I want to spend time with you looking afresh at God's grace. How does reflection on the grace of God that we experience in Christ, rather than guilt and anxiety, how can that lead us to personal growth as followers of Jesus? How does God's grace lead us forward? We're going to spend time uh, looking at how grace can lead, first of all, I think, to more hopeful lives. And then secondly, how grace can lead us to more confident lives. Hope and confidence. It's a winning combination. Ministry's always been hard, and it's particularly hard in this season in the life of the church. And as our culture rapidly changes around us, there are more pressures than ever on clergy. And so I'm really pleased that you're taking this time away as the clergy uh, of Northern Indiana in the busyness of life uh, to reflect, to rest, and to pray. See you soon.